Hey, thanks for um, checking in to Taste of Truth. There's something that's been leaving a bad taste in my mouth for the last couple of weeks, and that is Donald Trump. I have noticed um, Donald Trump is actually getting a lot of play by all of the political journalists. Um, and one thing that I really noticed from listening to him is he loves the word tremendous. And I think it would be a pretty fun drinking game to take a shot every time Donald Trump says the word tremendous. Uh, actually, one time I think I heard him put the word tremendous into a sentence three times by using it as, I made a tremendous amount of wealth and I'm tremendously awesome and I have tremendous hair. I mean, it was pretty tremendous to hear him use that word. And actually, I don't have a problem with the word tremendous. But I do have a problem with Donald Trump, not so much his ideas um, and the fact that he's got obviously a megalomaniac who believes he is the smartest business person that ever lived on the planet. That's fine. Think what you want. But one thing that really bothers me and um, I think it needs to be on Taste of Truth is the fact that he talks about bankruptcy like it's just this brilliant financial move. He actually says, I took advantage of the legal system and I, cr I created tremendous wealth for myself by um, filing bankruptcy. And at the end of the day, he doesn't talk about all the people he listed in that bankruptcy that never got paid for the work that they do and I think that some of the journalists out there should ask him about those people and where are those people as I recall when it first happened there were small businessmen there were contractors there were a lot of people who helped build those hotels that got 10 cents on the dollar and some didn't get paid at all so how is that really promoting the American economy yeah, it promoted Donald Trump's economy, but all those other people got screwed. And there's a taste of truth for today. Thanks. Have a great day.